Genetic engineering is one of the most exciting mega trends out there. First off, read this disclaimer carefully, like, sub, share, and comment. Uh, let's first look at the overall theme. So here is genetic engin engineering. You can see that the distance from the 52 week low is massively outperforming here the S&P 500. Let's look at the portfolio. So you have a bunch of stocks here. We will specifically look at Intellia Therapeutics in this video. So they are into gene editing. Pretty good performance, uh, pretty close here to 52 week highs. If we go uh, here, you can see the company's website, a nice modern page. Okay, so if we go here at the overview, Intellia is a pioneer in the development of CRISPR SAS9 genome editing and is rapidly moving experimental therapies towards the clinic. So this whole area of genetic engineering is one of the most exciting megatrends uh, in, on the horizon. The thing is that if we look at the seasonality for this stock, we don't have that many years uh, of data, um, only five. Based on the five, we do see that December is the worst month, the weakest month, uh, while February is the strongest, but we do not really have that much data here. So we need to be very, very careful about drawing any conclusions. If you go here to the chart, here is all the history we have for the stock. And the first thing that I think is pretty apparent is that it's a volatile stock. It moves big up and it moves big down. If you, if you measure this rally here, that was 93%, only to be followed by a crash of an astonishing minus 45%. Hence, if you are a swing trader, this is uh, nirvana. You can be making a bunch of money going long and then you can go short. And you see that the stock has these cycle patterns. Um, let's look at the time cycles to see whether the cycle patterns are consistent or not. It does certainly vary, but there is some consistency here to the cycle patterns. They seem to be they seem to be smaller cycles and also larger cycles. As an example, here you had uh, this rhythm of major cycle patterns, big ones, and now they they have a bit have a bit uh, sm been smaller given that this stock has uh you know the, the entire throughout it, its history it has had a very strong tendency to have both big rallies and pullbacks it means that based on that history at this point in time there's a very high probability of, of, of a sizable correction on the horizon we are approaching overbought the ter territories that has triggered pullbacks in the past and I think that this rally here was a bit unfortunate. So even though I am very bullish on uh, g genetic engineering long term, and I'm also bullish on Intellia Therapeutics, I think it would be, would be better if it did something like this. Okay, so let's let me show you here uh, a way to rally which would have been more sustainable. And that would be so. Let's say that we are here. So maybe we go down, up, down, up. And then we could have like the energy to actually break out. But if we did it in a more, you know, measured, reasonable way, it would have been just easier to make it sustainable. By having this euphoric rally here, trying to make new all time highs, there's a very high risk, given the history of this stock, that we will just run out of steam. Because people who have traded this stock and people who look at the chart, they will get spooked. I mean, if you were given $10,000 and you had the option here of going either long or short Intellia for, let's say, the next uh, three months, you probably would feel a bit uncomfortable buying long here at these highs, given the history of the stock. So, so that's, that's from a charting perspective. Uh, there's almost no correlation here with the S&P 500, only 11% positive. If we go here to the daily data points, let's load the moving averages. A very, very strong uh, rally. But I think I think there is a very high probability of a pullback. And if you do not have any position on Intellia, a, a pullback would be a nice entry opportunity. 
you can see that there is also a rounding bottom pattern here. We also had this inverse, well, kind of a messy inverse head and shoulders pattern. Some would say that this isn't really a head and shoulders, like shoulder, head, shoulder, because the right shoulder is actually deeper than the head. Hence, that does, it does involve, it does violate the key principles. Okay, so that is the chart. And there's a 76% positive correlation here on the daily data points. And you can see here, looking at the accumulation distribution line, that did not corroborate this rally. So there is some uh, problematic findings here that suggest possible pullback. Okay, if we go here to Finvis, you can see that we are pushing towards the high end of this trend line, and that trend line has triggered corrections in the past. If you go here to the performance, very good performance, fantastic, 137% year to date. Uh, if you look at the average analyst price target, you see that they suggest that there's only like around 3% upside based on the price target. So it is really sort of, it is well priced at this point. If you go here to sax.com, they have a number three hold, F value score, F growth, and D momentum. And the price, ha the stock has really run around, run away from the fundamentals. And the industry rank is in the bottom 22%, medical, biomedical, genetics. So a very specific industry rank as well. Yeah, if we go here actually to, um, let's go here to financial overview, and then we will look at something a bit interesting. So one, there's many of ratios here, but let's ask an example, look at um, price to book. So price to book is six for Intelia Therapeutics. If you go to the, the genomics ETF, okay? So this is a diversified you know, ETF. You can see here that its price book is 5.6. Hence Intelia is, is, is uh, you know, meaningfully uh, more uh, richly priced than the ETF. Okay, so basically the, the, theme that, the theme that we are sort of seeing here, partly on the seasonality, but we need to take that with a grain of salt, looking at the charts, looking at the fundamentals, the data suggests that Intelia has maybe run a bit too much, too fast, that it would be basically a pretty high probability that we will see some kind of correction in the not too distant future. That could, of course, be a short selling opportunity for bears. It also could be open up when the correction is done, uh, a very nice entry opportunity for long term bulls. If you are going to have a long position on Intelia, you of course need to respect the chart. The chart, as we have seen, it is very volatile, very much up and down. Corrections are just as common as rallies. And so you need to have the stomach for that, for those kinds of moves. But I think that long term, looking at the theme, genetic engineering, genomics, I, I, fi I find it very hard to become bearish. It is still in its infancy. It has enormous uh, potential. It is going to be huge. And so uh, as far as following the big mega trends, um, it, defini it definitively is very, very, very exciting. Whatever you do, of course, you want to be very careful in this market. Uh, there's uh, a lot of uh, volatility. Uh, there's a lot of uh, sectors that are uh, that have reached um, valuations that are unprecedented. You know, you have to go back to you know to the dot com bubble to see some uh, of these uh, valuations that we've seen in some of the tech stocks, uh, especially after the whole pandemic situations. So, yeah, just be wary of the risk of corrections.